Hey guys, I'm down here at the White River. I'm gonna try to get a little fishing in this evening. It is hot and sticky here in the Ozarks. I haven't done a woodlife vlog in a while, so I figured well, I might as well go ahead and start one. Suzanne and I have been so busy with orders and trying to get things ready, and then we're gonna try to go up to Northern Michigan, the Great Lakes, up to Charlevoix where I grew up for a while here. And I got mom coming down from Northern Michigan. So it's just been crazy uh, trying to get everything done. But let's go ahead and do a, a quick woodlife vlog. And let's start that out with some of my favorite creatures here on the White River. Otters. Come on over here. So there's a total of five of them, two adults and, and three little ones. The second big one, I'm guessing maybe dad, maybe mom, uh, just came back and, and got them all and now they're headed downstream. Yeah, those otters are pretty awesome. You know, a few years back I was uh, floating down the uh, Kings River and um, at, the, at that particular time I was snorkeling and 
I'm just checking out the bottom of the river looking for treasures because canoes are always dumping over and people are losing stuff on the bottom and you never know what you're going to find. And uh, all of a sudden there's an otter right there just checking me out and then another one and then another one. And so we floated together down the river for about, oh man, maybe a mile or two. I don't know. It was quite, quite a ways. And uh, it took me a while to figure out what they were up to and uh, essentially they were just curious and they were looking for goodies as well. been making a lot of tables like this and uh, I'll show you this is what the wood looks like when we start with it most of this here is dogwood it's one of our favorite woods to work with it's it's really hard it's really dense you can see the ends there this I think is red elm um, this is what it looks like when it's all sanded up and we sand our wood on these pneumatic drum sanders here there you go you can see it better and uh, they just spin around here we'll give her a little Let's grab one of these here. Anyways, you get the idea. If you guys are ever into wanting to make rustic log furniture, I highly recommend getting one of these. I'll put a link uh, in the video down below. They're not real expensive. Uh, uh, real work, a uh, couple of words of warning. Don't over inflate these. I think they only recommend like five to nine pounds of pressure, that's it. So you, if you if you over inflate them, they'll pop on you, um, which is a real shame because they're a pain in the neck to fix. And the other thing is, is when you first start working with these, wear gloves because these guys will sand your skin right off. Um, and the other thing is, is is when you get when you get them, they tend to uh, be set up to rotate towards you. We actually prefer to have it rotate away, so the, the stick's pulling that way. Um, that way, you know, if something, if a stick gets loose or something, you're not, you're not shooting it back towards you. So that's just a preference thing. That's just the way we have it. So this is actually set up backwards. The on switch is on the other side. So we'll go over here and I'll, I'll show you guys uh, what we do with these logs. So this is a pretty standard side table for us. The, the thing we're doing different with, with this deadwood is we started adding these little plugs and they cover up the screw holes. We're trying to make a little, a little more refined uh, log furniture from what we've been doing in the past uh, few years. We're gonna go ahead and release a new line of furniture, which is gonna be based on our old line of furniture, which is based on my oldest line of furniture. I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? But you can always refine and always make your furniture or your art or whatever it is you do in life. You can always work on getting better at it. Uh why won't he stop spinning around and around whoa i'm getting kind of dizzy all right so this is the frames of uh a a rocking set t which is basically just a bench that's a rocking chair as well as one of our rocking chairs and that's what it looks like after it's been coated let's uh let's go up to the showroom and i'll show you guys what this stuff looks like with boards on it now the boards that we are starting to use on this new line are going to be oak barnwood. We'll skip plane it. You'll see what that looks like in a second. We're also going to offer our native red cedar that we have tons of here. A lot of our red cedar around here is just being cut down and burned, and that's a shame. So we're going to try to put that to good use. Yo, here's one of our tables right here. Check this out. That's what it looks like with the little buttons on it. Isn't that nice? I like it. Anyways, and then uh, this is the tabletop, and it's skip planed. It's been skip planed, and you can see where some of the saw marks are, are left. It's still smooth, and then you have all these really neat holes in it. I think it just looks great. Okay, let's go in the store here. Those of you who are watching this and don't know much about us, we're actually located in northwest Arkansas. Um, just outside of Eureka Springs by Beaver Lake. Been, been out here building furniture for 20, over 20 years. This room here used to be a garage and it was my original 
uh, workshop. So this is one of the finished benches with the new oak skipped plane boards on it. Check that out. Nice. It's got the little button caps. Here's a finished table for you. What it looks like. Check this out. Suzanne just finished this. This is a big old cedar stump. You can see how big it is. Look at that. Massive. Yeah, that's what we've been pretty much up to here, Suzanne and I. Building furniture, shipping it out all across the country to our customers. And uh, that's that's been pretty much it. We've been so busy, we haven't had that much time to take uh, any time to ourselves. The other day, though, we did get to go down and visit her parents down in Mountainburg and got in a little fishing down on the, uh, what is that, the, uh, the Frog Bayou, the little creek river that comes out of Lake Fort Smith. It's a lot of fun to go fishing, cut some fish. I'll show you some footage of that, but but first I gotta I gotta address something. Uh, I crashed my little drone right into a tree, and it was hanging over the water. And uh, luckily, when I swam across to get it, there was a rock right there. It was over a deep hole, and I was able to get up on the rock, reach up, and grab the drone, and swim back with it. So let's. Let's roll that crash footage and we'll share some footage uh, with you guys of uh, fishing down there on the old frog bayou in Mountainburg, Arkansas. Seven or eight different species of fish. 